everyone. Um, in this video, I just want to show you um, that I've been playing around with the BIOS settings, trying to get a 5 gigahertz uh, overclock on my Intel i7 uh, Sandy Bridge 2600K. Um, I've managed to get, well, it starts at 3.4 gigahertz standard, um, and I was trying to get 4 gigahertz, and that was fine. Then I got 4.5, and that was fine. Then I got 4.6, and that was fine. 4.8, which was a little bit trickier. And now 5 gigahertz is really pain in the ass to make stable, like shutting down and then restarting absolutely fine. It's, it's quite hard for some reason. But I think I have found the correct settings, which I write down here. Uh, which we will find out if this works. So I'm just gonna put my camera on the mount. Zoom in a little bit. Okay. So, first things first. Let's go to advanced frequency settings. Change the multiplier to 50. And then we want to go into advanced CPU features. Go to internal CPU, PLL over voltage and enable that. Enable the turbo boost and change all of these to 50. And these ones to 350. We're going to put the CPU halt C1E on disabled so that it doesn't change the voltages and stuff and everything else is okay. And then we come out of that, come out of that, and then we go to advanced voltage settings, go to CPU V core and we want to go all the way down to 1.65 volts. There we go. Um, trying to think if I put anything else or if I change anything else, but I don't think I did. So, I'm going to press escape, I'm going to go to escape again, standard scene on advanced bio settings, and I want to do quick boot enabled, and then I think that should be everything, so I'm going to exit that, press F10 to save, Y for yes and enter and let's see if this actually works. Is it now? It always shuts down for some reason after the overclock and then completely restarts again. I'm not sure if it's, if it's worked yet again. What the PC would do is keep on trying to start up and then it'll close and then start up and go down and start up and go down and start up and go down. It's so annoying. It's doing something. Yeah, the reason why it starts up and then stops is because my power supply is plugged into an adapter and sometimes for some reason it needs a little extra charge already. So slug on here. And there we go. If I go to CPUZ. And zoom in for you. Actually, 
Only if you have a... <clears throat> you can see. Well, I don't know if you can see. But that says... 5,014.8 megahertz. So, it has worked. I tried to run a benchmark earlier for 3D, um, 3D Mark, and it kind of didn't want to know, so, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, if you've got any comments, just leave it down below this video. Um, subscribe if you like my videos, and check out my other ones. Um, if there's anything that you request, let me know, and I'll be sure to... Uh, put a video up of whatever you want um, so yeah like, subscribe and thanks for watching